they're really stressed out because they broke your trust. Um, I feel like this person wants to reach out to you, but yeah, they, they know that you don't trust them anymore. Not after what they did. Um, they're stressing bad. I, this is a masculine energy who's just, they're under a lot of pressure. They're feeling really tense. They were hoping to hear from you. This person, they would drop everything. They would drop everything if you were to call them or message them. Like, they would, they would fall over to get that call, okay? Um, but they're not hearing from you. Um, it's like they're suffering bereavement here. It's, you know, uh, this is a huge loss for this person. And they know that um, if you're not talking to them, they're going to have to try to talk to you. This is a lot of pressure that your person's under. Uh, because I feel like after what they did to you, they, they don't, it's like they have to come crawling back. They have to come crawling back and make right how they, how they treated you. Okay. They're angry with themselves right now. They may be feeling a little bit hostile. Like I, I can see somebody who's just, um, they're hostile kind of with everybody. It's that, it's that stress that they just can't contain anymore. They can't control it. Um, I feel like, um, I don't know why I'm hearing, if they mention your name. If anybody mentions your name, that's what was just put in my head, right? If anybody mentions your name, I feel like this person lashes out. They get really angry. That's that hostile energy. The stress is getting the best of this person right now. And um, they know at this point that they're not going to hear from you. They're not. Uh, if, they, if they want to make something right here, they, they're going to have to take the first step forward. Uh, this person could be crying a lot. They're going through, like these are emotions, right? All of these tears. This is tears that they're crying. Empty-handed, right? Um, they're not hearing from you. They're losing their soulmate here. And they're really stressed out. This is waves of emotion, right? From sadness to anger and feeling hostile, stressed out. Um, this person's a, they're a flipping mess, man. Yeah, they're resisting coming towards you. Um, because this is like, um, how do I describe it? <sighs> Dread. Absolute dread. Dread to come forward, okay, because they're scared. They know what they did to you. They know how they treated you. It was totally wrong. You're not coming towards them. They've got to face you. Um, and it's making them really upset, really upset. They, this is what they've been um, trying to um, avoid this whole time. This isn't something that somebody wants to do, you know. Yeah, they're frustrated because it's taken them way too long to get the courage up to come towards you. Way too long. They've wasted a lot of time here. Um, maybe waiting to hear from you. Why would you contact this person if they're the ones who, um, who hurt you? No, no. No, this person needs to... Um, they're going to have to find the strength. They need to buck up, right? Um, I feel like they could even be facing like some kind of house move here in the, in the near future. There could be some kind of blockage. I, I feel like it's just their own fear, right, of approaching. This is like when you, you know you've done something really, really bad, and you know you're... you're getting punished for it or you're going to get you know in trouble for it and you have to go in and face it like when i was a little kid i must have been like seven years old did it even younger than that actually um and i i remember i had a 
a, um, a, a, a little um, jar of nail polish in my hand, and I was walking through the store with my mom, you know, not thinking that it was in my hand. I, it wasn't like I was trying to steal anything. It was just, it was an accident. And we discovered it, that I had it in my hand when we were outside. And she's like, you have to go back in there. And you have to tell them that you took this out of the store. You know, she's trying to teach me, don't pay attention and don't take things, right? And, which was a total accident. I don't steal, okay? But when you're little like that, it's kind of like that. You, I was scared out of my mind. Okay, because I knew I was in uh, so much trouble. That's what this is. Okay, this person is freaked out, out of their mind. They're really going in, like, this is a roller coaster of emotions here. Intense ones, angry with themselves, suffering a huge loss, crying, sadness, right? Stressed out, anxiety, under pressure, getting ready to pop, still trying to resist the fact that they have to come forward. They have to come forward, okay? And frustrated with themselves because they sat on this for too long. They've run out of time. With every day that ticks by, it gets harder for this person to come forward. You know, they know what they have to face here. And, and, and <laughs> uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's when you know you're in a lot of trouble, okay? And you have to actually explain yourself. Yeah, man. They're like, but I know what I did to you was wrong. I'm so, you know, this is like them saying, I'm so sorry that I hurt you energetically, right? It's not the same thing. It's not that we know that they messed up. We all, everybody out here knows how badly this person messed up. They made the wrong decisions or they took too long. They broke your heart. Third party situation stuff, right? Everybody knows how badly this person messed up. Okay, but they still have to come forward and make it right. And that's the hardest part for this person. This is one of the hardest moments in this in this whole entire cycle. Okay? Um, yeah, they've been sitting in a safe zone trying to avoid the situation, but there's no avoiding this tower. That lightning bolt is a tower moment about to happen. There's no avoiding it. Yeah, there it is. That's the tower moment. They may want to be free here. They, they, you may inspire this person. Yeah, I feel like, too, they, they could be in a home situation somewhere else, hanging out, you know. It's their hideout. Now, wherever they are, it's become their hideout because they, they know that this has to be confronted, okay? They've got to face this now. And, um, yeah, they want to be free. This person does want to be free. Okay, but in, in, they're longing for you, but they're so ashamed of themselves. They're so um, embarrassed and ashamed as to the mess that they've gotten themselves into. I'm telling you, it's it's... It's getting, um, it's getting too much on this person, okay? It's becoming too much for them to carry all of these burdens. They're having to carry all these burdens and juggle all this stuff every day, all of these different emotions. They're getting ready to pop, I'm telling you. All right, so let's see what their situation is behind the scenes, huh? Let's get some tarot on it, guys. Yeah, it's like that impending, dreadful, like they know that they're going to be, um, that they're going to get it. They're, they know they're in trouble here. <laughs> impending doom, right? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off of this person. Dread, just dread. 
Okay, so what is this person? Yeah, and you're you're leaving. You're cutting out. You're like, I've waited for this person to get their act together and do the right thing for far too long. I'm done. The cycle's over. We're done here. Um, yeah, collective. You're you're like I'm. I'm not wasting any more time on this. I I've got a life to live. For crying out loud. You know. I can't. It, it's it's very hard for you to believe. I think in this energy, right? You've done your work. You've learned your lessons. From the way it looks here, you've been the only one who's had the strength to do the right thing. And we're talking about a grown, a grown adult. And I feel like you're thinking to yourself, this is just, this is ridiculous at this point. It's not even ridiculous. It's redonkulous. It's redonkulous at this point. And you're like, you know, you've got, the, or you've got all this strength. You've got all this power. Your intuition. You're very well balanced. Um, you've learned your lessons. You've passed your test. That took a lot of time and effort. It's time for this person to show some effort. Okay? And I think you're just like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> That's the feeling that I'm getting. Like, you know what? See you later. I have a life to live. I have a And here they are yearning for you. Okay? They're, they're longing for you. There's a picture here. I, they could be looking at your pictures, thinking back on happy times, right? It doesn't matter what this person is, is doing throughout their day. I feel like they just stop and think about you. It's kind of debilitating for your person, I have to say. Um, yeah. Wanting to work on things, wanting to collaborate with you, okay? They want to put the work in now, I feel. They could be talking to other people, maybe, too, about a possible plan to reunite. But this person wants to reunite. It's just, it's this, you guys. They are so freaked out about confronting you. But I feel like they did a lot to hurt you. Okay, they broke your wing here. They broke your trust. They did a lot to hurt you. So this is just, this is something that they're literally dreading. Okay. Um, but yes, they want to reunite with you for sure. Yeah. And they're realizing the longer they sit on this, um, it's going to end. If they, if, they, if they keep resisting approaching you, if they keep hiding out, right, hiding out, trying to avoid a tower, it will come to an end. There's no avoiding this for this person. Not if they want you back. Not, not if they want to reunite. There's no avoiding this. If they want to get back together, they're going to have to face you sometime. Okay. And they know this is it. Here they come. Feel like they, yeah, they want their soulmate connection. You're the one that they want collective. Oh, geez, that's, I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, and look, why wouldn't they want you? Anybody would want an empress in the minor arcana. You're the prize. Now they can see, you know, honestly, they may even be thinking to themselves that you could be doing way better without this person. It looks to me like you're happy being single. You're very successful, independent. You don't need anybody in this energy. Okay, I feel like you guys have um, really accomplished a lot during this time of no communication. They left you alone for way too long, and now you don't need anybody, and you're happy single. Um, yeah. Telling you what, they don't have any time left. They have no time left. Yep, you're out here in the public eye. You're standing in your strength and your boundaries. I feel since day one, you've had the you've been the only one in the situation who's had integrity. 
doing the right thing when no one's looking. You've got your boundaries up. You're strong. You're the only one with the strength here. Okay? And you've proved it. I feel like you're also in the public eye, a healer, an empath, right? Someone with this beautiful, loving, nurturing, caring energy. You, I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, you could just be posting things on Facebook, but you've got a big following here. You're a guide for other people. With a bird in the background, I feel like um, you're a messenger for the divine. You're doing a job for the divine here. You know, I feel like, too, this person wants to heal things with you, but um, they're going to have to discuss all of, the th all of the different ways they've hurt you in the past, the ways that they broke your trust, right, the ways that they broke your wing. All of the things that they've done to hurt you, they're going to have to discuss it. They can can't just skip over it. And that's what this feels like to me because these swords should be behind you in the boat if you guys are going to get to calmer waters. You need to be able to put these things from the past, the hurtful um, things that they did, you're going to have to, both of you are going to have to be able to put it in the past. But they've got to talk to you about it first. They've got to face you. All right, what else can you show me for this person? The person that's on the collective's mind. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, possibly a Leo. Yeah, this person does not want to let you go collective. They don't want to let you go. Let's pick this card apart. Number one, they're curled up in a little ball here. They're almost in the fetal position because they're so worried about facing you after all that they've done. Okay, so th they're intimidated. Um, who wouldn't be with an empress in the minor arcana who's been stronger than them? Okay, right? So they're, they're very afraid and intimidated. All they can think about, all they think about all day, every day, is having this new beginning, that one pentacle right there. But they're worried that um, you're going to hurt them the same way they hurt you. They're worried you're going to reject them. They don't want to hurt the way they hurt you. Okay. Figure that one out. That's why I say I feel like you're the only one who's shown any strength in this situation. And they've been juggling you, okay? They've been juggling you for a long time trying to avoid this confrontation. But now they know. They know they've got to come in and communicate. I feel like they're spending some time here, a little bit of time, trying to figure out what they're going to say. The King of Swords plans their um, communication, strategically plans it. So I feel like this person is thinking, how, what are they going to say to you, right? How are they going to say all of this? You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think I said that already, though. All right. Um, so, yeah, right now they're scared. They don't want this over. They know that um, that it's going to end. If they don't do something, it's going to end. That's it. Done. If this person doesn't come forward to make things right with you, you're not going to go towards them so that the, the whole thing's going to fizzle out. Yeah, they've got to come in and bring some fairness to the situation. For justice to be here, a huge injustice was done to you. And they need to make it right. They need to make it right. They know that. How are they going to make all of this right? Especially considering this person's been a coward. You've shown more strength than this masculine has. Okay, so what else can you show me about the person that's on the collective's mind? 
What can you show me about the person? Thank you. Yeah. They, you know, honestly, they could have gotten someone else pregnant here. I feel like they've had somebody else with them for, they could have been in a, maybe a long-term situation with this Empress energy, up to six or seven years, maybe. Um, they've invested a lot into this Empress. This was who they were giving to while they let you sit here empty-handed waiting for answers. While they ignored you, they ignored the situation, they avoided it like the plague, okay? Because they're literally, it's like doom. They literally um, are dreading facing you with this, right? Um, but they know whoever they invested in instead of you, I feel like... Um, this person standing here looking at all of the years that have gone by, right? All of the time, the energy, they feel like it was a waste of their time. That they, you know, it was a waste of their time to invest into this other person. They could have gotten someone else pregnant, though. I'm a bit concerned about that. You know, I'm seeing them drop. These are pentacles, but I'm actually seeing somebody drop in seeds, okay? I feel like they may have gotten somebody pregnant. They're, they may be trying to hide that. That was on the bottom of the deck. So this person doesn't want you to know about an, an, um, a, a pregnancy with somebody else. They may try to keep that a secret, so... Just be aware of that, but I feel like this person does want to come in and talk. Ace of Swords. Uh, this is taking a leap of faith towards an earth angel here, so get ready. And I, I feel like you're in the process now of being ready for something new. Like, you're ready here. You've learned your lessons. You're very balanced. You're not in your emotions. Okay? You're healed. You're intuitive. You're stepping into a new abundant lifestyle. You're focused on you. You're very happily um, single and independent. And you've got, um, you've got like a, a long list of excellent values and morals. You've, you've really stood your ground for you. And I feel like you're ready for something new. Um, dipping your toe in the water. That's some, wanting something new. Let me just try something new, right? Mixing up a new soulmate connection for yourself. This is you as an earth angel now, manifesting new love. So this person better get a move on if they want to come in and make things right. They, they you know, I feel like, um, number one, they're feeling like an, like a fool here. They really are. Investing into the wrong thing, maybe just finding out somebody's pregnant. That's not for all of you. That's only for some of you, okay? But this person's been warned. They, they've been, it's like this little dog has been nipping at their heels. Like, get in there and confront this. Face the collective and do the right thing. Bring some fairness to the situation. You know, and now I, I feel like... Um, they may be doing something impulsive, something risky. Um, I see this as them wanting to come towards an earth angel here. Taking a leap of faith. But, um, yeah, time's up, man. They can't just sit here and dilly-dally anymore on, on a decision that they need. They need to choose a path right? Or the cycle is going to come to an end and they're sorry about that. They're going to wind up brokenhearted if they do, if they don't do something. Okay. There's no, there's no more time left. I, I usually see this wheel as a, a giant vault door. One of those big, heavy vault doors, you know, at a bank and it's slamming shut on this person. They're about to be stuck. In a toxic cycle, another toxic loop, while you're up here on top of the wheel. 
And I feel like collective, um, for the most part, you're really just focused on your abundance. Whatever creative project you're growing out here, um, you really are the catch out here, okay? And um, you're healing, you're spiritual, you're focused on your spiritual path, manifesting new love. Like, you're not wasting any more time on this. That's what I feel like the door is shut. This cycle is over. This person is acting a fool. And you're just, you're like, I don't have time for this, man. That's the feeling that I'm getting off of your energy. You're moving forward. Uh, all right, so let's see what this person has to say, because they are seriously out of time here to make things right. They've got, they've got to get it together, man. They don't have any more time left. And we've been saying this out here in Tarot Land for I don't know how long. The divine gave this person ample time to come in and make this right. They've gotten messages. Um, if they're watching tarot, they hear it every day. Uh, there's not a tarot card reader out here, guys, who is saying your person has plenty of time and uh, it's okay if they don't come and make it right now. One single tarot reader out here is saying that. We're all saying, describing how your person feels pretty much the exact same way. So they're getting the messages, whether it's through tarot or, you know, the divine will send them messages however way, right? Through music, through TV scenes, whatever. They're getting the messages. They've had a lot of time and they've squandered it. This person has no more time left. You're moving on. And I feel like at the Nine of Pentacles, the only thing you don't have here, Collective, is that one pentacle that stands for a soulmate connection that's going to take you to the Ten of Pentacles. And once you have that, it's over for this person. That means a soulmate, a new soulmate connection that's worth um, building into a solid commitment. So they're about to lose the true jewel here. They're about to lose the prize. Um, they're Earth Angel. Okay. And I feel like they know that too. I feel like it's, it's like they're almost there. They're almost to finally getting the strength to come forward and make this right. But man... The stress from this person. I'm coming to you with an offer. What did I just say? Will you say yes? When I offer you my hand, will you take it? This I feel like this person wants to commit. But they've got to break free from whoever else they're with. I feel like they're trying to hide a possible pregnancy, to be honest. I still uh, feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. I feel like they're keeping it, um, they're keeping it hidden. They're keeping that fact hidden because they're currently with someone else. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. We were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. Yeah, you, you're an earth angel. You're a light worker here. You're very spiritual. I feel like um, maybe they were, maybe that made them nervous. Maybe they didn't know how to handle your spirituality because you're serious about it here. But now I feel like um, they're seeing you from a different perspective, okay? And they're realizing this connection and the importance of this connection. We will be together again. And what did I say on the bottom of the deck? I'm starting to understand our connection. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. Yeah, they're starting to see it now. Okay? I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. Were they friend zoned you? I feel like this person just ghosted you and didn't talk to you again. I let my ego get in our get in our way. 
I couldn't let go of my pride, but, I, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. I'm afraid to contact you. I told you. They understand this connection collective. But this person is scared. Scared, scared, scared. It's just like, it's absolute dread of having to face you. But I also, just so you know, for some of you, they are hiding another person in the background. So use your discernment. Use your intuition. Man, I don't know what to say about this person. They either get their strength up or they let this connection end. That's, those are their two choices. They either come forward and face you and try to make it right or they let this connection end. Seriously, they're kind of backed up against a wall.